So how are you all doing today? What you're looking at here is my current camera setup. I'm talking to you on a GoPro at the moment. And yeah, since day one, since starting these vlogs, this is what I've been using. I have my iPhone on this little setup. It is so handy. I can stick that wherever I want for a kind of secondary angle. And this is my main camera setup. It's not stupidly expensive. You can pick up that whole setup for about four or 500 quid, which is not stupidly expensive. It's pretty much the price of a GoPro these days. And that includes the microphone, the batteries, the actual Gorilla Pod and all that. It's only a Canon 700D. It's a little bit old school right now compared to all these other people out there. They're using all these sort of fancy cameras and that basket, proper ghetto. Normally if it's broke, you chuck it away. But uh, if it's broken, you can fix it. I'll oh, bloody fix it. That bloody microphone cost me 80 pounds. I'm gonna just chuck it away. A Little bit of glue, bit of tape, he's back running. So if you're not familiar with a basket midweek random, this is one. And uh, this is where we sort of do a discussion and stuff. I sit here in my joggers, all nice and comfortable. You know, I'm not out here to be some sort of fucking fashion victim. I've got a t-shirt with bloody moth holes in it. All that good shit. But you'll be surprised how many people ask me, what's the best camera to use when filming? The younger generation. And I'll point to this one straight away. Hello, cat. I say to them, what do you have in your pockets? They say, I've got some chewing gum. I've got a wallet. I say, what else? My iPhone. There we go. The iPhone is a beautiful thing these days. I've got an iPhone 7. It has 128 gigabytes of memory. And uh, yeah, you might not know this, but a lot of my vlogs are filmed with that, especially the secondary angles. All my time lapses are done with that when I do my sort of building missions and stuff. And as you can see, it's quite a handy little setup. I can stick that wherever I want, in the woods, on the streets. As long as no one nicks it, it's handy as hell. And that's the best answer I can give. What's the best camera to use? Whatever you can get your bloody hands on. And in most cases, it is the iPhone. Because the more you think about it, you film with your phone all the time. You hang around with friends that have the same bloody phone. They film other angles and stuff. They airdrop you the clips. You can mess around with those clips. You're bloody laughing. Because when you think of it, when I think of it mainly, growing up, I've come across a lot of riders that got into BMX mountain biking. They've gone out, they bought the most expensive bikes going. They hit their knee on the stem. They have a little bit of a crash. They run home, cry to mother. The bikes are sold in the next week. What a waste of bloody money. Now the same thing happens with camera equipment. People go out, they spend thousands on camera equipment. They make a couple edits. These edits don't get the kind of feedback that they were hoping. They cry a little bit. I'm selling my bloody cameras. This is bloody rubbish. And that's what happens. We've all been there. We know these certain people. You know, if I was making huge money on the whole filming situation, going to weddings and stuff, making big bucks, I'll obviously upgrade my camera equipment. But basket ghetto vlogs, this would do the job. Mate, what are you doing? So yeah, this is gonna answer quite a few people's questions. That phone that's currently in your pocket, if you use it more, you can get nice time lapses with it. You can get slow-mos with it. You can do a lot with a bloody iPhone, especially when you've got big storage. It's a perfect thing to practice making videos before you go and upgrade, buy expensive cameras, and then regret it. So we're calling this the basket experiment. You out there watching this now with your iPhone, what footage do you currently have stored on your phone? What you're gonna do is get all this footage together. What sort of video can you make out of all of it? What can you do with it all? See, I'm looking at my phone right now. The bad boy's got 128 gig. I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to footage. There is a lot on that phone. And you'll be surprised what certain clips were filmed with that phone on certain missions recently, certain vlogs. Some of the clips that will pop up, you'll be like, oh yeah, seen that clip before. It was filmed on my phone. I'm always filming with my phone. Especially when there's bangers going on, I'll set up that camera, I'll set up the GoPro, and I'll also set up my phone just in case. So I'm gonna put all my footage together, what I have on my phone. This is strictly iPhone. Don't be sneaking any GoPro clips in there. No big camera setups, no DSLR. This is strictly iPhone. I have the iPhone 7. Some of you might have the 6, the 5, the 8, the whatever the hell goes on after that. If any of you plan on doing this, putting all your footage together, making a quick little edit, put it in the comments below. I wanna see them. So let's dive straight in. 
basket iPhone footage. Let's do this.
So yeah, that is my uh, iPhone edit. There was hippos in there. There was a squirrel at times. There was a cat. There was an orangutan. Florida mission, mountain bike mission, all filmed on a phone. So next time you're thinking, what's the best camera to get? Put your hand in your pocket and get creating. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and bye for now. <laughs>